Hello everyone and welcome to Agape Love. Today we're looking at scriptures about loneliness. During this time and this season, many of us have found ourselves lonely. And so we do have to look to the Word of God so that we can find freedom, we can find peace, and God provides a word for loneliness. Deuteronomy, the 31st chapter, the 6th verse. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Psalms, the 27th chapter, the 10th verse. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. 1 Samuel, the 12th chapter, the 22nd verse. For the sake of his great name, the Lord will not reject his people, because the Lord was pleased to make you his own. Romans, the 8th chapter, the 31st and the 32nd verse. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Psalms, the 25th chapter, the 16th verse. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Matthew, the 28th chapter, the 20th verse. And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Isaiah, the 41st chapter, the 10th verse. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 1 Peter, the 5th chapter, the 7th verse. Cast all your cares on him, because he cares for you. Psalms, the 68th chapter, the 5th and 6th verse. A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. God sets the lonely in families. He leads out the prisoners with singing, but the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. Proverbs, the 18th chapter, the 24th verse. One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Hallelujah. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. And again, I say hallelujah, for there is one that sticks closer than a brother. We thank God for the reading of his word. I do hope that in the midst of any loneliness or lonely times you may have experienced or are currently experiencing, that you look to this word in this season and know that God is with you always, even until the end of the earth. Have a blessed day and a purpose-filled life and know that I love you with that agape love.